Hello YouTube, my name is Neural TV Support, Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Friday is finally here and therefore it is time for Sledgehammer's weekly community update. It's going to be very hard to top the news we covered earlier regarding Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and the fact that it was officially listed on the Activision Blizzard Amazon page, but we do have a ton of other news and information to cover today regarding World War 2, Black Ops 3, and even Modern Warfare Remastered, so let's just hop right into it. Let's start things off here by taking a look at Call of Duty World War 2, so today, the map Shipments 1944 became available for everybody, which means anybody can play it, not just season pass holders, and it can be played in the Shipments 1944 featured playlist, and it's going to be added to all modes at a later date. Sledgehammer Games has confirmed on Twitter that Shipments will not be going away after Operation Shamrock and Awe. It's a free DLC map for everybody to enjoy. They also activated Double Experience in the Leprechaun Mosh Pit playlist today, so if you're looking to level up a little bit faster, go ahead and try that out. It's actually a lot of fun. The Leprechaun spawns in. If you happen to be the person that kills him. You get all of your kill streaks. It's ridiculously fun. And they also brought back special orders today, which is a very big deal. But the first one is a little bit lackluster. It's complete 85 multiplayer matches in exchange for two epic weapon bribes. The old one that they had was 80 multiplayer matches for two heroic weapon bribes. This one's a little bit worse than that, but still, it's nice to have these back in one way or another. There is currently no word on whether or not they plan to change out the weapon contracts, because when they add this to the game with Operation Shamrock Nob, we all kind of assumed that different weapons would rotate in and out on a daily basis, but we've had the Sten contract every single day since Operation Shamrock and Oz started, so I'm wondering if Sledgehammer Games going to actually make some changes here. I hope they address this in the coming days, because giving us one weapon contract per week is not exactly a consumer-friendly model compared to the old weapon order system that we had previously before it was removed from the game entirely, so we're going to just have to wait and see how it plays out, but Sledgehammer Games did make one pretty incredible change today. They have officially changed the amount of armory creds you get in the mail for your payroll from 100 up to 200, which is a change that I think we're all pretty happy about. To wrap up the Call of Duty World War II news, they have announced that Domination XL, yes, that fabled mode Domination XL, is still coming to the game, and it will be coming out on Friday, March 23rd, for both core and hardcore modes. It will not be replacing regular Domination. I would like to make that very clear. They are not getting rid of regular Domination on Friday, March 23rd but rather they're adding an extra domination game mode called Domination XL, where instead of 50 points for a kill, we will get 100 points for a kill, and they're going to see what the community thinks about it, right? We're going to be able to play for an entire weekend, and then we're going to vote over on their Twitter page as to what version of Domination we actually like more, but that does not mean they are going to change Domination based on our feedback. So as you guys know, Hardcore Ricochet by far won the vote for what kind of hardcore people prefer, and as of right now, Sledgehammer hasn't made any changes to the hardcore game modes based on that poll. There's still doing testing. They don't want to be too hasty, which is a good system in my opinion, but I will say, as somebody who loves playing Domination, I cannot wait to play Domination XL because I am really tired of it requiring me to go on a 5-10 to 10 kill streak to call on a simple recon aircraft, so I can't wait for Domination XL, but again, that's coming on Friday, March 23rd, and moving away from Call of Duty World War II here for a moment, let's go ahead and take a look at Call of Duty Black Ops 3 because today marks the beginning of a brand new community challenge, with this one focusing on zombies instead of multiple player. The challenge is for the community to collectively eat 10 million pieces of gobble gum, and for doing so, we will be rewarded at different milestones. The rewards for reaching 25%, 50%, and 75% are still a mystery as of recording this video, but the 100% reward is confirmed to be a full set of ultra-rare gobble gums. Be sure to hop on and play a few rounds of zombies this weekend just to try to contribute to the community goal, because if we all work together on this, this challenge will be completed in no time. And speaking of completing challenges, were you one of those people last year who was unable to get all the gear for Operation Shamrock and Awe in Modern Warfare Remastered? Well, I have some good news for you guys. Raven Software has reactivated Operation Shamrock and Awe in Modern Warfare Remastered today, which means we have the return of Daybreak 24-7, which for those who don't know is the bright spring version of Downpour. These special St. Patrick's Day camouflages can now be earned once again by doing challenges on Daybreak, and the Operation Shamrock and Awe supply drop gear can once again be obtained from the quarter Master, so enjoy that while you can. The event is scheduled to end next Friday on March 23rd, so if you're looking to scratch that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered itch after today's leaks, why not go back to Modern Warfare Remastered, play a few rounds on that game as well, just to see how it feels after all this time, and of course, revisit the bright and sunny version of Downpour, which is such a good remake. I mean, Downpour itself 
really bad map. I don't like it whatsoever, but Daybreak, I mean, setting is everything for me, man. Daybreak is so much fun. But ladies and gentlemen, with all of the Call of Duty World War II, Black Ops 3, and Modern Warfare Remastered news out of the way, it's time that we check out the community celebration part of Sledgehammer's weekly update. This week's community section is rather small. We have Tropical Shark getting incredibly lucky and getting a double kill by throwing a stun grenade. It's actually a very hard challenge to complete regarding that. You basically have to do a domino effect kind of challenge where you throw your explosive and that explosive blows up another explosive and starts killing people that way. Like, I've done that maybe eight times or so. I think you have to do it 15 to complete the entire challenge. So very lucky right there. And then we also have this, which is coming in from J-Core, which shows this guy just continuously clapping for him as he opens the supply drops. Now, Sledgehammer said in their blog post that they wanted to feature this because it's a great example of community interaction in the headquarters. That's what the headquarters is about. It's this interaction and commending each other and just being there for each other and just feeling like you're part of something bigger. But in reality, I think they want to show this because of the supply drops being opened rather than them commending each other after he opened up all the supply drops. So regardless of all that, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much all for this week's community update. What an awesome time to be a Call of Duty fan, right? We have Call of Duty World War II bringing back shipments from Call of Duty 4. It's right in the middle of its Operation Shamrock Naw event. Shamrock Naw just came back to Modern Warfare Master, which brought back Daybreak. We have a new community challenge in Black Ops 3. And who could forget that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered was listed on the official Activision Blizzard Amazon page earlier. As I said, what an awesome time to be a Call of Duty fan. Of course, I'll keep you guys up to date with more information as it comes available on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered or any of the other events that are currently going on. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.